Hey, what's up? Daniel West here from danielwest.co.za. Welcome to another exciting tutorial where we will be looking at dodging and burning using two methods called the grey layer method and the curves. So, without further ado, let's get started. We've got a lovely photograph over here and the first thing that we're going to do is duplicate the layer. The reason for this is as soon as something went, goes wrong, we can always just go back, revert to the like the original. So we don't have to, you know, lose detail or lose our work as we go along. So let's get started. All right, so the first thing that we're gonna do is Command Shift and N. We're gonna create a new layer, call this Dodge Light. And the mode we're gonna set to Soft Light. Just underneath it, you see a little checkbox coming up. We're just gonna click that, fill with Soft Light Neutral Color, 50% Gray. And we're gonna say, okay. Great, we're gonna do now exactly the same, Command Shift and N, and we're gonna call this Burn, and even Dark if you want to. And the color we're gonna set to none, likewise, and then the mode is to overlay. Exactly the same, fill the layer with 50% neutral gray. And there we go. We're gonna hold down shift, select our both layers, command G, and we group them. Just call this dodge and burn gray. So we don't get like confused with the other method. All right, so the first thing that I wanna explain is we're gonna use the brush tool, but at a capacity of about 5%. The reason for this is anything above 5% is going to show. All right, so let me just quickly show you what's gonna happen. We're gonna set our foreground to white, and we're gonna do just one stroke down. And this is on our dodge, our lighter one, all right? Then we're gonna set it to about 50%. Yes, 15%. We're just gonna drag this down and you see it's a lot more visible. Then we're gonna take it to 25, just to clarify this. And you can see it is a lot lighter. And, and so on, so on. So the harder you go, the more you can see the brush strokes coming on. We'll just undo this too, well three. All right, so with our opacity set to 5% and our foreground set to white, we're just gonna slowly start, oh yeah. Also the flow, I would like to work anywhere between 40 and 60%, this way the brush strokes doesn't go, become as visible and blends in more within the the, 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 the the image itself. So I'm just gonna set it to about 40% and I'm gonna start brushing in where I think the, the highlight should be accentuated. There we go, yes. Uh, once again, it's not an in-depth tutorial is only to show you guys how to use it and hopefully that you can apply these tools to your own projects. There we go. Great, a little bit highlight over here. I'm using a Wacom pen. It's the bamboo style for this one. Um, I really recommend that you use any sort of Wacom pen. Uh, it just makes life so, 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 so much easier. You can just easily go in and use your pressure tools, like your brush pressure tools and so on, just to create a little bit more of a natural flow. For the eyes, what I tend to do is I like to use about 10%, just to accentuate a little bit more. There we go. And that is the lighter colors. Great. And you can see we have nicely highlighted some areas. The beauty of working within a group is you can turn it off and on, and you can see your progress as you go through dodging and burning. All right, now the next one is your dark colors. We're gonna use this exact same. We're gonna do our brush tool, B for brush tool, and we're gonna set our foreground to completely black. All right, and with our opacity set to 5%, we're just going to increase the size of the brush size and also hardness is at zero and we're just gonna increase the darker areas by just brushing all around where we'd like some darker tones. Once again, this is very rough. Um, yeah, it's just to show you guys how to use the tools. 
Great, there we go. Let's accentuate that as well and zoom out again. Let's get some nice contrast going on here. Yes, sir. And the hair and so on. It's very rough. There we go. All right, great. So turn it off and on, and you can see a lot of dodging and burning going on there. And that's it. That is the gray layer method. Next, what I want to show you guys is the curves method. Now, the curves method is a lot like the um, gray layer, except the only thing is we're going to add curves. So in your adjustment palette, we're going to select the curves and we're going to pull it down. This way, everything becomes darker. We're going to select our bucket with a foreground selected to uh, to black. We're just going to put place on the mask and it becomes invisible. Great. We're going to do exactly the same. Only this time we're going to increase this. Select a bucket again and place it in. On the mask, it becomes completely black. All right. So just not to confuse yourself, we're just going to name this one burn dark and the one above it um, dodge light. Great. Once again, we're going to select both of these layers. We're going to go Command G, or you can even create another group and then drag them into it, but I find it a little bit tedious. All right, so just a heads up in there, like Command G or Control G. Great. All right, now we've got both um, curves selected. Uh, hold down Shift, and this is something that most users neglect is to go to your mode with each layer selected, mode luminosity. The reason for this is the skin has a couple of highlights and color that shines through as soon as you start to dodge and burn, especially the reds and the the yellows. It becomes much more accentuated. So in order to just calm it a little bit down, we're gonna put, um, put both of these curves to luminosity. This way we don't affect the tones as much. All right, great. So exactly the same. We're going to go to our brush tool. We're going to select our foreground to white and our opacity to 5%, anywhere between 5 and 2% is fine. Anything higher, brush strokes, once again, it will show. Flow, I like to work on 40. Um, but as I say, it is project dependent and your preference. Great. So what we're going to do is we got our select burn selected and with our white, let me just move that back. Great. And with our white brush, we're just going to start painting in where we want more darker areas. Yes. And once again, it's very rough. Do, 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 do. Just to show you guys. I do recommend watching a little bit of tutorials on makeup. I know. I've <laughs> never thought about <laughs> doing tutorials on makeup how to see how to actually contour and all that type of things but I must say since watching it it really 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 helps especially knowing why makeup artist does what and I must say it, it just it helps a lot especially with dodging and burning um, it makes you understand why you make certain areas darker and certain areas lighter great and there you have it that is your burning and now the dodge, exactly the same. Select your brush tool, foreground to white, and opacity, exactly the same. So all we gotta do now is just paint in where we want the highlights to show a little bit more. And here we go. Uh, maybe I've done a little bit too much. If you've done it, no worries. All you gotta do is select your foreground, make it black. And with a higher opacity, I like to work on 50% perhaps, or even higher. Just go back and color that away. There we go. And let's just go a little bit more in. Then we can actually see what's going on. There we go. And once again, with a 5% opacity. And Shift D to make a neutral white foreground, black background, and just paint back in. There we go. There we go. 
we go just ever so slightly just to give a little bit more highlights going on in the face areas and also on the shoulder and as you see I do use my brackets on your keyboard to increase the size of your brush. All right, what I like to do is I like to increase my opacity to about 10% and just brush away with the eyes. It is a little bit rough, but you get the idea. There we go, curves, and just turn it off and on. And there you have it, dodging and burning as simple as it can be. And you can even combine the two if you really want to go extreme. But yeah, it depends on which method you like. Great. Thank you for watching and hopefully you can apply it to your own work. And follow me on demwest.co.za. Till next time.